Alrighty, so who is Elon Musk? What do we need to know about him? So the reason I'm doing this reading is because I stumbled upon a an interview with Joe Rogan, and I guess he's done several, but um, particularly I've got I got some like I've never actually I didn't even know what he looked like until then, um, but I got some really interesting like vibes off of him. Um, I kind of think he's channeling information, just the way he pauses when he's talking, like you think he's trying to think of what he wants to say, but I, it feels when I see it the same way it feels when I'm like getting a message or something. So, um, we did have the eight of cups retreat. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know if that's going to apply, but the questions we're going to ask are why is he obsessed with mars um does he channel technological information um and if so if we get any um information on that like where is he channeling it from uh is he trustworthy should we trust him um and and just overall what do we need to know um so yeah i got some weird vibes when i like saw him and saw the way he talked um so i'm very interested to see what the cards have to say about that all right. If you're new to my channel and you like this kind of stuff, don't forget to subscribe. I do this. I do pick a cards. I do all kinds of other weird stuff. And I talk about crystals and I'm planning on doing a crystal skull video, um, in the next couple of days. So, all right. All right. Let's just get an overview of who is Elon Musk. What can you tell us about him in general? Mm, interesting. Okay, so we have perspective, which is the hanged man, death, and um, the eight of wands, which for me talks about manifestations coming to you. Um, I feel like he definitely is he has a different view on things clearly um he sees things a lot differently and i believe he he will help uh kind of like close a chapter um and open up some new uh new good things for us so i i do feel like this is a positive uh vibe that we're gonna get from him um but yeah i'm really feeling like this is about a new beginning for us um, and he's, he's bringing something to us, which would, I'm, I mean, technology and stuff, right? Uh, and with the crystals on here, the, the wands have the crystal tips. It's very, um, not like otherworldly, but, you know, the crystal power, like we use quartz crystal in, uh, electronic devices and watches and all of that sort of thing. So I feel like he's definitely bringing something new, a new perspective, um, to us. So I, I don't feel like that's bad. I'm going to pull a couple more cards and just, <sighs> should we talk about Mars first? Let's talk about Mars first. Why, what do we need to know about his connection to Mars? We know he wants to go there, but is there another connection? Is there another connection to Mars? What is that connection? How is he connected to Mars? Why, why does he want us to go there? Or well, why does he want to go there? Ah, okay. So we have the Princess of Cups. I, I, I feel like it's to, he, okay. What it feels like to me is he doesn't want us to be afraid of Mars. He doesn't want us to be afraid of space in general. He wants to start, uh, like I'm getting start a revolution. Um, he wants to take us out of fear. Um, so I know I I'm thinking that that fear surrounds the other planets, right? Um, and you know, the princess of cups being about emotion, dreams, um, that sort of thing. Uh, it's, I, I feel like it's just a dream of his to like, I'm getting cancel, cancel out the fear. Like when it relates to this nine of swords, um, yeah, he's, 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 there's something that he's dream dreams about. It's like literally, I don't know if the information comes from dreams, if, um, but she's sleeping here. This one's about dreams. 
um, it's like bringing the dreams to fruition. It's just a dream that he's always had. Um, yeah, so I feel like it's just something that he may literally, it may literally have come to him in a dream. Um, there could have been somebody that came to him in a dream and was like, you know, you need to, you need to check this out. This is something important because I do believe he is channeling information. Um, but we'll get to that next. Um, so let's look at that. Um, can we know if he's channeling information? Is Elon Musk channeling information? Ooh, to help us get to Mars. Let me grab those off the floor. And we have more cups. We have the Ace of Cups and the Four of Cups. I don't know what order they came out in, but um, that's how they're going. Make sure you can see that. Okay, one more. And the Four of Swords. Um, yeah, I, the cuffs being about water, I think he knows that there may be water on Mars. Um, I don't know if there used to be, I kind of get the impression like that there used to be, I don't, I'm pretty sure they found water on the moon or at least evidence that there is water or was water because they found hematite on the moon, um, which is, it, like if you have seen newer pictures of the moon, there's kind of like reddish spots. It's, it's rust, um, which, uh, I read a couple of articles cause I'm like obsessed with the moon, um, about how they found hematite or, and, and rust, which you would need oxygen to create. Um, so there's that. So I'm wondering if kind of the same situation applies to Mars, if there is water, um, or if uh, he knows how to find it or uh, or if that's just like the next step and what he wants to discover there. Um, but I feel like with all of this cup energy, there's a, there's, there's a lot of water. I feel like this has to do with water. Um, yeah, so... Now, without, without just that intuitive water aspect of it, let's go actually to the meaning of the cards, which would be, we have two fours here, which would be stability, um, like a pause situation. Um, the keywords on these cards are meditation and rest. Um, those are not movement. Also, the Ace of Cups is, is about the beginning, and it does, you know, the emotion of love is, ooh, is tied to that. Let me back up move my whole tablecloth um it is tied to love uh so I feel like this um I'm getting like a harmony a harmony from the like just the meaning of the cards not necessarily a movement um perhaps there is water that is um not moving that is standing still um there's like resting water kind of feeling I'm getting um but yeah I I kind of feel like I kind of feel like that's that's the thing is the water on Mars. Um, interesting. Okay, let's stop talking about Mars. I think that's enough. Well, I actually really want to kind of. What else do we need to know? I'm getting out steampunk here. I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle these. I'm gonna do a quiet shuffle sideways. Weird shuffle apparently it blasts in your ears when I do it too loud with the microphone. All right. Yeah, two more cards to sum up Elon Musk's relationship with Mars. Okay, well, I guess that's two, huh? So we had the Eight of Cups pop out in the first deck when I was shuffling. So there it is again. Kind of about walking away. Temperance, again, with that water. Um, the temperance is, is that uh, kind of that balance, the slow paced. I apologize if you can hear that scratching. It's really windy outside and there's palm trees next to my window and they're just like scraping on the glass. I'm so sorry. 
um, I hope you can't hear it too well. But um, again, that balancing the water, um, temperance is like uh, easing into something and the eight of cups is walking away. Um, again, more cups energy, more water. I feel like this has a close tie with water. I'm also really drawn to the equations here because he is um, well known for, you know, uh, creating some really advanced, I feel like, technology. He's kind of pioneering that technology industry um even if it's not his own knowledge and you know whatever he has access to knowledge um but i feel like this 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 card is about walking away from something that you've invested in um and i feel like it could be you know walking away from this planet onto the other one but it's going to be slow it's going to be very slow uh and he, you have, he is going to have to be very careful, um, getting tread lightly. Um, but again, more of that, more of that water element, uh, coming into play here. But yeah, I feel like it's about him wanting to walk away from something, but being very careful and calculated in doing so, um, you know, baby steps. It, the temperance reminds me of cooking when you temper, um, when you temper like a, a liquid or whatever, it's like you're adding like raw egg to something that's hot. You add a little bit of the hot part to the egg to warm up the egg that way. Because if you just threw the eggs in to something hot, they would they would scramble. So tempering um, is like the process where you kind of warm it up. You kind of get it acclimated to a point where it's not going to just scramble if you just mix it together. Um, and that's really where I always go with temperance is about um, kind of slowly integrating some things. Um, and I feel like it has to do with water. It could be um, the element uh, linking to emotion. But I really feel like because we're talking about a planet and um, resources, I do feel like we're there's a strong connection to water with Mars. Um, but yeah, so that's that's what we have for Mars. Let's go ahead and um, ask some other questions. Let's talk about whether or not he's channeling. I don't know about if anybody else sees what I see when watching an interview. Normally with these, I don't do a whole lot of research. I stumbled on the video. And, um... And it like was really intriguing, so I watched another video. So I, I have gathered a little bit of information. Um, I did um, request a friend to look into his astrological chart. Um, nobody can find a time of birth, so we don't know a rising or his house placements. So um, we don't have a whole lot of information, and I don't know... Um, it's kind of odd that we don't have a time for him. Uh, he was born in South Africa. I do know that. Um, and he's, I guess, currently a Canadian resident. But um, yeah, I didn't do a whole lot of research, but I did watch these interviews because I was literally not intrigued by what he was saying, but what he was not saying and how he was formulating answers. And, you know, he, he is kind of um, out there. He's a little bit weird. Um, but when he's being interviewed by Joe Rogan, you can see like the funny kind of side of him. Um, but yeah, uh, he he has some stuff going on there. Uh, all right, so let's talk about channeling. Is Elon Musk channeling? What can we know? Or should I say, where is he getting his information? Exploration, stability, another four. Queen of Cups this time. All right, uh, yeah. Intuition. Mm hmm. I I don't get a definitive. Yeah, he's channeling. This is where he's getting his information. I don't necessarily get anything from these uh, regarding that, other than the, the Queen of Cups being a strong intuitive card. Um, usually the Queen of Cups, the Princess of Cups, would be like the page, the one that said dreams earlier. I I really more associate the Queen of Cups with dreams. Um, so, and, but again, intuition as well. So, um, I feel like it's more of a steady trickle of information. I don't think he like sits and channels. Um, it, it doesn't look like, 
it looks like he it looks like he kind of waits for the information to come in um the princess being a page pages are usually about communications or messages of some sort i feel like it's more of a waiting for waiting like i don't see any real action going on here the four again not about action um about standing still being on four like four legs of a table um with that stability all you know um i i just kind of i feel like he when the information comes to him it comes to him but it's not really giving us much as far as whether or not it's like channeled now would he know if he was channeling um that's kind of my question did he know if he was channeling information what can we know about his knowledge of channeling Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, right in order, and then the Six of Wands, another another wand, um, fire energy. What what would he know about channeling? Um, hmm. So we have fire energy here, passion, uh, motivation. Um, the aces are usually like a yes, um, a pretty strong yes. Um, so I, I kind of feel like he, he does know that this information is coming from another place, that it's coming from a higher, like a higher power, a higher, either your higher self or s somewhere. Um, but I feel like this is a yes. <laughs> um, and then again, the two of wands being kind of like a, a two being a partnership. I, I see like a joining here. Um, the six of wands, victory, uh, success, it says here. Um, but yeah, I'm getting overall that he, he may know that he's channeling. I was kind of not expecting that. Um, I think, I think he may know that he's getting his information from somewhere, maybe not necessarily labeling it channeling though. Um, but he, he just waits for the message. I don't think he attempts to channel what I'm getting from all of the six cards together. I don't think he is attempting to channel or trying to reach other um, entities, beings, uh, what have you. Um, I don't think he is attempting to. I think it's just being given to him. That's kind of what this feels like. He, he waits around for it to come in and um, something kind of pairs up and um, successfully gives him information that is helpful. All right. I, I kind of want to know where he's channeling from. I don't know if the cards are going to be that detailed. I'm going to change over to steampunk again. If Elon Musk is channeling technological information, can we know where it's coming from? What what would he be channeling from? Is that page of cups? Interesting. I kind of feel like it's not it's not something we would understand. Um, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be fair for us to know. Um, but I feel like it may be, hmm. I'm kind of, I don't think it's something that we're, um, that is maybe like, I don't know if it's him necessarily, the person, the human Elon Musk that doesn't want people to know, or if it's the, I, I'm kind of thinking it's him that doesn't want people to know about this. Um, uh, but there's definitely a, a don't want to share, don't want to reveal. Oh, it's windy. Um, don't want to reveal. It wouldn't be fair. Um, it's just kind of like a... 
the knowledge shouldn't be in the wrong hands. Um, yeah, like, but if you if you look at the page of cups there in the center, and we have this flying overhead here. I can I, I I believe that's our hint. Uh, that does not look. Let's see if it'll focus. That does not look like an average airplane, does it? It is a very interesting looking um, kind of. Uh, I don't. It doesn't look like a spacecraft, but it is very futuristic looking. Ah, okay. Is it his future self? I didn't think about the the poss possibility of necessarily time travel. Um, I mean, I did. It did kind of pop in my head for a minute, but I wasn't really expecting to go that route. But wow, yeah. Haha. <laughs> okay, so let's let's ask some more questions. Let's get into this part. All right. Is he, oh, is he a time traveler? Okay. Is there a possibility that Elon Musk himself is a time traveler? Uh -huh. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. Okay. So the three of cups is, um, you know, group socializing. Uh, and then we have the fool, which is like the beginner, the, the beginner, the beginning, um, a, a new journey. Uh, I, I feel like this is definitely, um, <laughs> this is definitely something to do with, like, okay, he, he's got the chimney sweep, right? He, he's the chimney sweep in this one. Um, is that not too uh, bad of a glare? But, you know, typically in, um, the tarot, the fool is carrying, like, he's like, looks like a runaway or he's going off on a trip in, you know, like the, the hobo kind of, um, belongings in a bag on a stick I don't know what it's called I don't even know if there's a name for it um but that's what's normally there like uh, I really get traveling off of that um the chimney sweep travels from um building to building you know uh if you I'm getting the Mary Poppins chimney sweep in my head like I don't know if anybody else knows of any other chimney sweeps that would um come to your mind when you think of chimney sweep other than uh Dick Van Dyke in Mary Poppins um, but how like it magically floats from house to house, I kind of get that. And I feel like, like immediately I felt like, yeah, that's time travel. It's, um, kind of partying, uh, in one place, almost like a visitor. Okay. Like he's visiting our time. Um, I, oh my God, this is not the direction I planned on going. Um, but I kind of feel like is he is he actually time traveling? Does he know he's time traveling, um, or is he just connecting to his future self? I mean, and I in a, in a sense that is time traveling. Um, I believe if you are connecting with your inner child, you're in a sense time traveling because you go back to your childhood, talk to yourself as a child, and you're healing that connection. And it's healing that child in that time reality, um, which allows them to go through life and get to the point where you're at now when you're connecting with them that um, is more healed. So you're, you're healing yourself. Um, you're essentially time traveling. I know I'm a little bit out there. Uh, but it, yeah, uh, that could be considered time traveling if he is getting uh his future self is connecting with him let's give him work hard um either way is it is he himself traveled through time or maybe he's actually trying to figure that out um has he traveled through time or is he just connecting with someone or his himself from the future so if we can get one card one card that would give us a hint either direction. Okay, that one didn't want to leave my hand. Eight of Pentacles. Um, I I think he's working on time travel. Um, but look how young. Look how young. Let me get in the right spot. Look how young that that kid looks. Like I want to call him a kid. Uh. 
And it could it could be that uh, you know one of his children. Okay, one of his children traveling, you know, connecting with him in this time space from the future. Okay, I know this is getting really weird, but that's kind of that's kind of what I'm getting. Um, I I do believe he's channeling and getting information, but I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little bow on this whole part, and we're gonna just move on to general. Is can we trust him? Is he trustworthy? Is the information trustworthy? And anything else we need to know? But for the whole Mars, um, channeling aspect, I want to say that the cards are telling me that he is channeling information from one of his children in the future. If that, you know, if you can ride that timeline, <laughs> um, I, I believe that one of his, one of his children is connecting with him from the future. I don't believe it's him. I don't believe necessarily his, he's time traveling. Now it very well could be also that he is looking into working on a project that would involve time travel. Look at the gears up here. You know, we say that we're like living in um, a simulation or, you know, like the matrix um, up in the sky, like the clouds are parting and you can kind of see behind the veil there. I'm really getting that. So let's wrap that part up. Okay, that's what I'm getting for channeling. All right. Now... Let's just see if he's a trustworthy. Should we be trusting the knowledge that he is sharing? Because I feel like he's not sharing everything. All right. Let me please get some information on trusting Elon Musk. Okay, these all came face up. Let's take them. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say he's trustworthy. Um, two of Cups, um, very positive, a kind of a affirming um, union here, partnership, um, but from uh, like more of a heart chakra type energy this isn't uh necessarily heart truck run up i want to say um and then we have the three of wands which to me would be more of the lower chakras where we're looking at safety motivation creativity uh i do feel like uh i feel like it's it's kind of a positive thing to allow a partnership um if you will and then the three is about um working on something creating um, creating, uh, this card in this deck, um, this reminds me of a Merkaba, Merkaba, however you want to say it. Um, see the two, the triangle with the sticks, the inverted triangle, and then the center, um, being like that galaxy, that planet looking, um, which, um, if I'm understanding through Bashar's teachings, um, like the key to time travel or, uh, dimensional travel, is the Merkaba. Um, that is a very important energetic um, sacred geometry pattern. So uh, having that kind of working, I feel like, to our advantage. Um, then we have the Queen of Wands here as well, who would not take shit from anyone. Um, that is the, the the mom of the group who, uh, like the Stevie Nicks mom, like she has that vibe going on here, but that fire energy, she motivates you. She's passionate in helping you. She is a, um, a, a strong guiding force in creativity. So I feel like kind of giving the impression that he is an, a trustworthy guide, um, that it would be ideal to partner with him, um, and create with him, allowing him to create um, and guiding. I, I do feel like that what he is building is beneficial. I don't see anything that would indicate otherwise here. So um, let's just wrap it up with a final message. Is there anything else that you can tell us about Elon Musk? What Anything else we should know? Anything else we should know about Elon Musk? Let's 
seven of discs or coins or pentacles, earth energy. Um, mm, there's two cards. I can't remember what the other one is where they have them lined up this way. It might be, oh, it doesn't matter. Um, but it, these are the chakras, the lower chakras. So we have the root, the sacral, solar plexus, heart, throat, third eye, crown. Um, and for me, it feels like ascension. Um, where um, The way I see the chakras working um, is they develop starting with the root throughout our physical life. And this is earth an, an earth energy card. Uh we start developing this, the, the root chakra, the root, the connection to the earth where we feel safe and grounded. That is our safety button basically. Um, but also connecting to our, uh, life, life creating energy because it is, um, connected to the reproductive system. And then we have the solar plexus, which is, I feel like, our, you know, our motivation, M motivation, um, it's like the part of our childhood where we're starting to discover things, um, and test things. Okay. And then we go up through, you know, growing up and we have the, uh, the solar plexus, which is about creating things this is where you start using your hands and building things and making things and playing with blocks and that kind of stuff. Then we have the heart chakra develops after that. And it, you know, it's where we start getting like noticing or understanding our bonds with people, our emotional ties to people, places, things. That's where that is starting to develop. And then we develop our throat chakra where we're communicating and starting to use words, um, using even hand gestures that we've developed down in here. Uh, and then we have like a third eye, which is like our more of our understanding um, as far as development growing, you know, as a child. That's our, you know, being able to understand each other. Um, and I believe, um, and I, I'm probably going to get like reamed for this, but I believe... Um, a lot of like neurodiverse people, we are talking, you know, spectrum, ADHD, that kind of stuff. I believe there is a strong connection with the third eye chakra for them being that, you know, there's, there's an, a, a disconnect with, um, communication. Um, you know, there are issues with, um, being able to understand sarcasm and nuanced language and that sort of stuff and being able to connect. But I believe it's because there's a stronger connection elsewhere. Okay. Um, like beyond our physical world. Um, that's just my perspective on neurodiverse people. We'll move on. And then we have the crown chakra, obviously. And that's, those are kind of things that we develop more as an adult. Um, and then, uh, the heart chakra being kind of the crux of it. It's also on this card in the center of this X. If you can see that it's kind of, it's, it's kind of um, like the main and most important one to connect to. And we typically tend to bypass that because of logic. Uh, so anyways, um, so yes, I feel like um, the cards are trying to tell us that he's helping us to ascend. And he this is about perseverance. It's about um, working towards a goal. And I feel like that's what we need, that there's a goal in mind for him, there is, um, there are steps that need to be taken is kind of what I get for, um, what we should know about Elon Musk. So, um, if this made any sense, if you have any questions, whatever, if you just want to say, Hey, what's up, uh, leave me a comment. Um, and again, uh, this is kind of stuff I do sometimes. If you like it, go ahead and subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day.